10 o'clock it is on a Wednesday morning. Usually we say good evening, but I'm going to be bold and be realistic and be present and say good morning to you and welcome to the show. This is Candid Conversations with the CIPC. My name is Herman. Uh, it is the 11th of March and welcome to the show. My name is Herman, your host until 11 o'clock this morning. And at this point, I'd like to welcome Nabila, our editor, to the show. Nabila, hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. It feels weird saying good morning on the show. <laughs> I think this is one of the exciting things that we bring along together with CIPC. Thanks, and I'll chat to you a bit later on. And also welcome, as usual, our guest on the show, the commissioner from the CIPC. Good morning, Astrid. Hey, good morning, Urban. It, it definitely is uh, strange speaking to you when it's light outside. But I think change is yeah, always good. Change is always good. I totally agree with that. And uh, later on, I'm going to be saying hello to some of the guys in depth. Where, but that I mean, they'll be telling us more about uh, who they are at CIPC. But first, let me just go through the team list. I've got Tando. Tando, good morning. Uh, it's Rosani. Tando is just out, stepped outside. Good morning. Rosani, welcome as well. Thank you. Cool. And also, we've got uh, our, our guest uh, on the show as well, Peter. Peter, good morning and welcome. Good morning, Raymond. How are you? I'm all right. Thanks yourself. Good, man. Good, good. Good. Thank you very much. Peter uh, submitted a few questions that uh, we're going to be touching base on a little bit later on in the show. And at this point, let me just welcome uh, some of the guys that are joining us. Karin, Yolanda, Sanita as well as Sonia are some of the guys that have uh, joined us this morning. Michelle, Gert, Heidi, Henny, Khabo, um, Ivo, as well as Lindy are some of the guys. Mark just joined in. Mohammed as well. So we'll be uh, looking forward to your company throughout the morning as well. So uh, t today, this morning, we decided to say, uh, to make a few changes, just like the commissioner said, change is always good. So we've got a team at CIPC that, is, that are going to be joining us to give us more in-depth into how to use the website and also look at the e-services as well um, that are um, offered by the CIPC. But to get into detail, let me just first stop, uh, start, up, start off with uh, the Commissioner to give us a sense of why the decision to change. Commissioner, uh, over to you. Uh, thank you, Herman. We have done now, I think it's uh, six sessions or seven probably even, in the evening and it was great to start off that way uh, because we thought it would be more convenient for entrepreneurs and for people who are busy during the day. But it was quite difficult for us an organization to bring more people in uh, to also assist with this process. So, so we decided that we're going to try doing the last few shows in the morning and bring a bigger team from the CIPC in, uh, people who can answer questions, people who can do presentations, so that you also get ex broader exposure to the organization and so that more people get involved in this. So that's why we've moved it to the morning. And um, we also decided that today we wanted to focus on the website. We still get a lot of questions about the website, about its functionality, and we realized that many of the questions that, pe that, that we get could probably be answered by people themselves if we directed them to specific areas. Hi, uh, Commissioner. I think someone hit the mute button uh, at your office there. Uh, I don't hear your audio uh, coming through. Um, I don't have a mute yeah, button on. Can you hear me? Okay, I can, okay. Yeah, I can hear you now. Right, so, so let me let me continue. Um, also, you know, when we started the website, when we when we revised the website, we got some users involved initially to um, give us some feedback. 
And so we actually made quite a few changes to the website, but we keep getting feedback on the website. And so we've thought that it's, it's probably time for us in the next few months to have a look at the website again. So um, we would like to use this opportunity to, to navigate people a bit, but also to get some feedback, some concrete feedback on what people think we could change on the website. How could we improve it? Uh, so that is what we okay. were hoping to achieve this morning. Herman. All right, great. So uh, doing that, um, it will require us to obviously try and be you know, a bit fancy with our gadget, try and do a bit of screen share <laughs> as, you're, as we're running through the presentation. I, I understand we're still trying to set that up. We've done it before. It's not a case of it hasn't been done. I think it's just a matter of timing. Uh, one of the guys will be able to do that, uh, hopefully, on the show. And I'd love to see that, um, the guys walking through the presentations as well. Um, but I think to, to also start off, I don't know how far is uh, um, Tando as well as uh, Nabila in setting that up, because I don't see it on my on my screen. I'll, I'll communicate with Nabila in the back end to see how far we do that one. But we'll also set up a, a poll there, Commissioner. Nabila is going to be setting it up just like we do we did in the last two shows. Um, we'll get views of the of the users, if I can call them that, and then we'll publish it, publish the results just before we we say goodbye as well. So um, e-services, uh, as well as the web, or we're going to be focusing more on the website, I understand. But how does the e-services thing work, uh, the Commissioner? Uh, how does e-services work? Well, you do need to access e-services through what we call the static website. So uh, in the top right-hand corner, there is a, a button at the top that says uh, online transacting. And when you click on that, you go through into the e-services. We on e-services we offer all the services that are currently available in electronic form. So that would be name reservations, company registrations for standard companies with a standard MOI, private companies with a standard MOI. And we offer director changes, closed corporation member changes. We offer um, financial year end changes, and we also offer. Um, address changes. Those are all the transactions and of course annual returns, very important function on the website on e-services at the moment. You can also get certain disclosures there, certificates can be downloaded and you can also track the transactions that are offered on e-services at the moment. So that's very broadly what we do on e-services. Then of course we also have the intellectual property um, transactions. So you can uh, file your online, uh, your, your application to register a trademark, a patent, a design, um, and a copyright and copyright and film application, also through um, e-services. And then right. we also offer certain searches on e-services. Um, so, you know, we, we don't offer all our services yet. There are still quite a few manual transactions. And on the static website, we take people through how to go through the manual transactions. And then they can also download the forms there. But uh, Herman, I don't want to steal uh, all the thunder of my colleagues. Um, okay. And maybe I could very briefly introduce who they are. Uh, okay. Ruzani has been participating um, uh, in the evenings. And he's been assisting with answering questions in the chat. Um, I think some of you, some uh, you, you, you certainly may remember him when he he signed in. I think on the first or the second show. Uh, Ruzani is in uh, in the area of the organisation that deals with uh, electronic communication and uh, e-communication with clients. Um, so he, he this is a critical. This is part of his function. And so it's a very good learning experience for us as an organization. The other person that we had on, uh, Tando, who has also been participating in the chats, Tando is a senior application developer and was one of the key developers, if not the key developer, in the e-services. So e-services is really his baby, and he's the best person to answer questions about it. Okay. All right. Uh, while we're still trying to get, get things moving, we've got a question from Leslie with uh, or in relation 
to the website. Um, it says, uh, can I uh, fire the question and maybe we'll see if, uh, I think this looks like a, a suggestion more than a question. Certainly. Certainly. It's from Leslie. It says, uh, please, can there be a facility on the website where we can put in a tracking number to see the status of the document? Uh, you can do that at the moment. You need to go into, there, there are two parts. If it's a manual transaction, you need to go to uh, additional services, which you will find on the e-services page of the website. Um, if it's a, a transaction that was lodged through the e-services, you can check for its status if you go to transaction status. Again, you'll find that on e-services. All right. Uh, you, you see that I just muted uh, Rosani's mic there. There was a bit of feedback there. So thanks for, for that response there, uh, Commissioner. I don't know how where, where this question will, will fit in. It's from Karen. It says, do you have a process in which we can use API to automate? If so, who can I contact and how? Um, no, we don't have that facility at the moment. Um, I think, but I think maybe Tundor is, is the best person to answer that. It sounds like a technical question to me. <coughs> Tando is still out. Tando is just signing in. Oh, okay. okay, cool. So I'm, I'm just trying to field these questions as we go along. I'm chatting to Nabila. So uh, she will, I think, speak to Radwani offline to try and get that screen share uh, enabled so that we can proceed with that uh, website in a bit. So in the meantime, I'll just field the questions that, are, that I see um, in. Uh, um, specifically talking about website and all the other technical questions until we get the other part sorted. It's now 12 minutes after 10, so um, Nabila, once you're ready with the poll, just let me know so that we can uh, set it up as well and send it out to the guys to contribute to, to the show um, this morning as well. So uh, the other question there that I have the uh, Commissioner, uh, Leslie says, when will auditor appointments be available online? So I don't know if that is a, a technical question or a question um, that's got to do with, you know, registering auditors. We, once you have auditors, you just put add them onto your um, onto your profile there. Hi, can you hear me? Okay, we seem to be having a bit of a technical glitch from Pretoria there. Hello, hi, hi Commissioner, can you hear me? Herman, can you hear me? Herman? Yes, I can. Ah, good. Yeah, okay. I can hear. So let, let, let me answer that question. Um, I, I'll do some sign language with Tando, who's sitting across the desk from me. Um, the, the the auditor changes. The uh, he the development around it has been finalised, um, and I think we will be. We need to just fully test it, complete the testing around it, and then we will release it. So I think in the next month. We'll make, we'll make that available online. Again, it'll be a fully automated process around auditor changes. Tando's nodding at me, right. so I think I got this one right. <laughs> I, saw, I saw another question no there, um, Herman, that came from Tanya. I don't know if I... Okay. Tanaya, Tanaya. Um, about company registration and about foreign directors. Um, so, those uh, applications unfortunately can't be lodged on e-services. Those are manual applications. I know that you it does provide for passport um, numbers to be entered. The problem is that what happens is that the 
in the back end, we check the, those, those uh, details against the Home Affairs database, and it does not provide for foreigners, and so it rejects it. So unfortunately, at this stage, uh, any applications that involve foreign directors have to be filed manually. Uh -huh. okay. um, Maggie and also asked about transaction status. Herman, sorry, okay. shall I shall I wait? Uh, and 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 Maggie, you need to look at two areas. You need to look under additional services for manual transactions, and you will find only e-services transactions under the transaction status button. All right, great. Uh, I think I'll wait for your queue once you finish responding, and then I'll come in with another question. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I won't interfere, Herman. I'm in your hands. No, not at all. You're not interfering. I think you, you spotted a, a queue to get in, and you went for it, which is not a problem at all. Um, I got another question from Shane. I don't know if you've seen it. It's a private tag on it. It's about the, the website. It says uh, the website needs to be made simpler. Uh, look at other transactive sites, for example, FNB, RMB, or Standard Bank. <clears throat> Shane, um, we agree that it definitely needs to be simplified, and, and we see this as a process of continuous improvement. So please give us your feedback on things that you think we need to change. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning, we are looking at the next iteration of the website. Um, so your, your inputs and feedback would be highly appreciated. All right, great. Um, is Magda one of your team members that's responding in the background? Because I see she has responded to another question there. Magda is um, indeed one of our key members. Oh, OK, cool. So I don't want to repeat a question that uh, she has already tackled. So I'm just scrolling through the, the list there as we go along. Commissioner, just bear with me. Uh, I'm just trying to find another question that I can um, push out to to, to, the, to the session. Um, Shemaine, that's not one of your team members. Unfortunately, I cannot see who's your <laughs> on your team. Usually, we have a blue tag, and if there's no blue tag, it kind of throws me off a bit there. Well, you know, let's, uh, that ma that's what makes things exciting, Herman. Okay, so this it's one is from Shemaine. Yes. <laughs> it says that due to the website maintenance during a weekend uh, in December, a, de a deposit I made on the Friday took one week to reflect. This resulted in me having to pay penalties and have submitted all correspondence to rele rele or relevant departments, but keep being told to lodge another ticket. Um, why, when I have been trying to deal with the relevant department, uh, this QRS system seems to be laying tactic. Um, I think you're very frustrated, Charmaine there. Charmaine, it's not a delaying tactic. That's our process. And I think it's very important that you follow our processes if you want resolution. So our process is simple. If, we, if you uh, uh, submitted a transaction and you don't get the feedback within the service delivery standard, you log a query on the query resolution system. If we don't respond to you within 10 days, you escalate it either to the ombud or you can escalate it to myself. If you have logged a ticket in this instance, please escalate the email. Send me an email. My email address is aludin, A-L-U-D-I-N, at cipc.co.za. It is very important that you follow our processes. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks on that point, there, um, Commissioner. Uh, I see you just made a, a comment uh, about APIs. I think that's Karen's question. See, we did deal with that question. So if I can move on to another um, question. Oh, yeah, I just got a note from Nabila. We're slowly getting ready to do the screen share. So once it's ready, we'll then proceed with the presentation there, just to give you a bit of a heads up. Um, from Anlia, it says COR 20.1. For the registration of external companies was submitted in August 2014. It was resubmitted a few times, and to date we have not received any feedback on these registrations. This is urgent as we need to provide information to SARS. We are a listed entity. Why is the hold up? A question from Anlia. Uh, Anlia, you need to follow our process. Um, 
if it's a JSE transaction, you can forward that uh, on the JSE email address. Um, but I think what needs to happen in this, in, in, in regard to any of these transactions, there's a service delivery standard. If we're outside the service delivery standard, you need to log a query on the query resolution system on the website. You'll find it in the top right-hand corner if you click on inquiries. Um, that way, um, and if you don't, if we don't respond, you need to escalate it. Um, you need to you need to escalate these matters as quickly as you can so that we can resolve the problem. So in in this instance, if if it's a listed entity and it's been long outstanding, um, I might allow you to jump the queue just once, and you can send me an email. Um, but for the process, the process is you must log a, a ticket on the inquiry system. All right, cool. Rosani, as soon as you sent through the presentation to Nabila, she'll do the screen share, and then we can have you on the air to do the presentation for us, please. Another question, a website-related question from Lucy. Commissioner, it says, uh, how does one go about adding directors because it keeps throwing a date selection error message, but the dates are selected um, with the configured calendar? Okay, the, we get a lot of those queries. It is quite simply um, actually just a matter that you're not using the correct browser. You have to use either a Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. We get the best results on Google Chrome, so I suggest that you just use that um, browser and you'll find that you won't have any problems with the director change system. All right, great. That's one... Uh, question there. Um, we about to set up a poll, and I think let me just get just fire this question out now, so that when we publish the poll, we already uh, went through the steps, and the guys can just um, submit their questions there. Um, the question that we have: In your experience, uh, what is the worst on the website? Um, for this, you will have to send us five or so of the key pages or features, as well as a blurb on what the present, oh yeah, this, the, the, I think the, the follow up after the, uh, after the presentation. Uh, in your experience, what is the worst on the website? We'll publish the poll uh, in just a little bit and then you guys can just, we'll give you a few options then and you can just publish it, uh, or not publish it rather, vote and uh, we'll publish the results and share with you a, a little bit later on. Um, another question from Tania says, I've tried to contact the International <coughs> Property Services. I followed all the steps and also contacted the Ombudsman. No reply. I think we did deal with this. Uh, just log <coughs> another query there, Commissioner. If um, yes, I think if, you, if, you, if you're struggling to navigate the Intellectual Property uh, 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 site, you can either, again, log a query. Um, I'm not sure which part of the intellectual property system uh, you were trying to access, which um, discipline, was it trademarks, patents, or designs? Um, but we do respond to those queries, um, and you can also find the contact details of the business units on the website, because if, if you look under the service delivery standards, uh, they will be able to assist you. They guide, they, they respond both telephonically as well as to emails, and they can guide you through the process. I just want right, to maybe come back to the, AP, to the API question, uh, Herman. Yep. Um, you know, I think I, I, a tunnel might be a better place to answer this, but uh, let me at least give, a, give it a shot. Um, our strategy is not to expose our web services that we have to anybody to link in because we are quite concerned that if we expose web services, there must be some kind of an upfront verification. So with banks, we rely on the FICA process that the banks do. And on our self-service terminals, we rely on the fingerprint verification, the biometric verification. So what we are working through is how do we make that technology available? But it won't be just about exposing services and people being able to, um, through their on their own side, link in. Uh, we will actually have to uh, download some software for the biometric verification 
onto uh, individual computers. So we're working through that process. Um, and, I, you know, I think maybe over time as we um, develop as an organization and our systems capacity develops further, we may very well be able to do that in future. I think at this stage, you know, we are quite concerned about being able to have some level of control around who just who accesses these systems, um, you know, through uh, linking in web, with web services. So, so that's why we're limiting it at the moment. We've limited it to banks, and we've limited it, for example, to SARS or government institutions. Tando, is there anything that you'd like to add to this? No, at the moment. Um, that's why we have them available to the banks only at the moment because um, safety security. Um, we need to roll out that fingerprint verification first before we can. Okay. Herman, uh, did, you, did you hear that? No, I missed it. I think his level was too far. Just move closer to the mic if you can, there, Tando. Top, 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 top. Can you hear me? Yes, yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, I don't know if you need me to repeat what I said. Yes, please, if you may. Okay, I was just saying at the moment, for security reasons, you can't, you can't have them available for everybody. Um, that's why we have them for the banks and SARS. Um, in the future, we will have um, fingerprint verification available. Um, for most people, so it should be should be in the near future, should be available for everybody. Okay, so if if I may come in there, when you say fingerprint verification, um, will it be only at service terminals or at service centers, not at home, for example? You know, Herman, the, there are a lot of opportunities and possibilities in the cloud. So. Okay. What we are looking at at the moment is how do we make that available. Essentially, what people will need is a fingerprint scanner that meets the requirements of the Department of Home Affairs. And they will need to register with us in some way. And then we'll need to download the application that recognizes the fingerprints and send us the information onto those computers. So actually, you know, one could envisage in the future that if, if you are an individual and you want to do your own transactions, you could do that from home if you have the right equipment and you can register with us in the right way. Or you could do that through an intermediary. Or you could do it at one of our own self-service terminals. So I think there are a lot of possibilities around this. Alright, great, got it. Um, I've just got a note now from Nabila uh, regarding the presentations. I believe we're not going to do the screen share. Is that correct, the uh, Rosani? Hi, Rosani. Hi. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. I just got a note from Nabil. Apparently, a wrong presentation was sent through just a couple of minutes ago. And it was decided that you're not going to do this screen share. You're just going to continue with the presentation. Is that correct? Or should we still fill a few more questions? Well, the, the first one is correct. The one I sent is correct. The wrong one, I did not send it. Oh. I'm just going to do a highlight presentation on this one, a high level one. And then Tando will take over from there. All right. When you ready, without, without, you may go ahead or without before. the presentation. Well, okay. Without the visuals, basically. Yeah, from Tando. Yes, mine. You can put the visuals first two, three pages, just for clients to see what's going on and what's happening on, on our website. Okay, cool. I think let's start with Tando while Navina gets yours ready then, because um, Tando's one doesn't have the visuals. So Tando, if you're ready, you can just uh, take take it over, and then I'll be building the questions, and then I'll, we'll come back to you in a little bit. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, thank you very much. Then. It's now 10 minutes or 30 minutes after 10 o'clock. The CRPC's candid conversations together with the Small Business Connect up until 11 o'clock. It's a new format that we're trying out this week, and uh, we're looking forward to hear your feedback uh, later on. Peter, I will give you a moment as well, closer to the end of the show, to come through 
and ask uh, a few questions. Tando, when you're ready, just let me know and then we can just hand over to you um, so that you can carry on or start with your presentation. I'm ready. Okay, can sure, you can go ahead. Yeah, I can. All right, I'm just going to take you through the types of services that we have on the e-services website. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a presentation at the moment, um, so we might be able to show it later, but not now. Okay. Um, we, we have, first of all, we have customer registration and um, password resets. Um, anybody can register as a customer. Um, you just need your ID number, and if you're foreign, I need your passport number. Um, yeah, it's a straightforward process. Uh, you just type in your details and we send you um, the confirmation of your customer code and password by, by SMS and email. And from there, um, we have different services like annual returns, we have company registration, we have director amendments, um, and then we have member amendments or CCs. Uh, we've also got separate name reservations. Uh, name reservations can be with companies or we can do it separately. Um, but address changes. Uh, financial year end change. We have different types of certificates available on the website. We also have customer transactions and status, and at the moment you're building auditors into the system. Um, I'll quickly start with company registration. Um, with company registration, um, just hold on, sorry. Okay. With company registration, all we need um, is, is ID numbers. Um, we, the customer types in the ID numbers of all the directors, and then we verify those informatives. Um, that's why the commissioner mentioned earlier that we can't um, work with foreigners at the moment because we connect directly to home affairs. So we verify all those details via home affairs, and um, then from there we need your directors' cell phone numbers and email addresses. And they need to be unique. You can't, two directors can't share a cell phone number or an email address um, because we communicate directly with directors and not necessarily with customers that are logging the, the transactions. Um, basically, you follow the steps on the system, and um, at the end, we send you a document that needs to be signed and returned to a specific email address. Now, what we've noticed um, is that customers don't read the emails that we send to them, and they end up sending documents to incorrect email addresses, and which in, in turn makes documents not be, not to be processed, because we don't have them in the, in the, in the specific email address that we need them on. And um, the documents need to be in a certain format. Um, we only accept PDFs and TIFFs. So if your document is not a PDF or a TIFF, it will not be processed. Um, with direct okay, amendments, just Sorry. Sorry, Tando. If you can just uh, also highlight the area of the size. We did talk about it before, but I see it's it's coming back again where guys uh, end up scanning documents and then um, the size is either too big uh, to, to, to be submitted. Um, there are indeed sizes that are too big. Um, your document must be less than 6 megabytes. Um, email will reject actually any document that's bigger than 6 megabytes. So you need to make sure that you scan, it, you scan it into a, a lower resolution format. We, we recommend a, a 150 DPU as the resolution setting. OK. All right. Cool. Um, OK, same with, with um, direct amendments and member amendments for both companies and CCs. Um, the process is exactly the same. We work with Home Affairs. We, we verify the piece of our Home Affairs. Um, with the documents as well, they need to be sent to a specific email address. Um, and, and exactly like I, I explained it in the company in the company details. Um, then we've got annual returns. Um, all you need for, for annual returns is just your enterprise number. After you logged in, you need your enterprise number and then your turnover for each year that you owe. And we do the calculations and, and let you know how much you owe, and then you just need to go to the bank and pay, and then continue with the with the lodgement. Then we've got name reservations. Um, for name reservations, you need up to four names. We charge you 50 rand, and um, goes through testing in the back in the back end. And once that's done, we send you confirmation that your name reservation is done. Um, for address change and financial year end change, the process is is automated, fully automated. 
So once you capture, okay, let me start with financial year end. Once you capture your new financial year end for your company, it's affected immediately. Um, and then you can just print out a, a, um, a disclosure document um, for confirmation if you need it. Um, for address change for companies, um, the, um, the effective date can only be after five working days. So if you lodge your company today, five working days from now, it will be affected. But if it's a CC, it will be affected immediately. Um, then for customer transactions, which shows um, all the transactions that we deducted cash from, um, from your customer code. Um, you can check that out there. And on transaction status, um, if you lodge the company registration or director amendment, you can check how far your transaction is um, on that option. And um, that's about what we have on e-services so far. Like I said, we're still building on some new functionality and should be available in the near future. All right. Um, there's a poll question that we've set up. I don't know if this relates to your area. It says, uh, and, the, and the guys, uh, listeners or viewers or attendees, if I can call you that, uh, just uh, take part in this poll. Uh, it says, uh, how easy is it to submit your annual return? Um, one vote, or yeah, vote on the scale of one where it's very easy, and five, it's very difficult. The poll is on the right side. Look on your sidebar. There's a chat poll attendees button. Click on the poll button, and for very easy, and five for very difficult. How easy is it to submit annual returns? So we'll publish the results later on. Did you want to add the uh, time because I think you you've covered the basics and guys can just go into the website and follow those tips um, for any other services that they want to um, engage the CIP with. I think I've covered All right. uh, Okay, cool. I think there's a slight delay from me to you. No, <laughs> you're taking so long to respond. But thanks for that. Thanks for that, uh, Tando. 37 minutes after 10, I think we're about to get ready with uh, Rudzani's presentation. Just got a word from... Uh, Nabila, that it is ready. So, Nabila, if you're ready, if you can just do the screen share, and then I will just ask in the meantime, Rodzani, to get ready uh, for us today with, with this presentation. A bit of a tight one for me. It's not like you guys were all in the same room. I can just hint to Nabila to publish it. But I'm on, uh, I mean, PE, and she's in Cape Town. So, we. Just click on the Small Business Connect box. You see my face on the right-hand side, Small Business Connect, Rodani, Peter, Navita, yes. and Astrid. So to yeah. all the attendees, click on the small, I mean, box. You'll then be able to see the presentation that uh, Rodani is going to be um, going through. Hi, Emmett. Can you hear me? Yeah, I, can, I can hear you. Okay. Um, can I continue? So we already. Yeah. Okay. I'm losing you a little bit. Uh, can you hear me loud and clear? Yes, I'm in. Hi, I'm in. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know if you can hear me. You yeah, can, can go ahead. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you very much, Amen. Um, I'm just gonna take you through how our website works and how does it look. On the page that you see on the screen is the landing page. This is where all the all, all the transaction. If you want to do any business with CPC, you're gonna land. And um, from this page, when you look at uh, at, the, at the at the top of the page. It's got home about us, uh, legislation, publications, and contractors and inquiries. And then below there, uh, there are services that we are uh, offering, where you've got uh, register your businesses, maintain your business, protect your IP, business and IP search. Um, you'd, uh, again, if you want to access some of the services, uh, in fact, all the services that Tando was uh, presenting about, you'll have to click on online transacting. It will take you through to the next page where you can uh, access all the services. But before you do that, if you don't want to go to that, um, there are services that you can also do here, like your fi file annual returns. 
and then maintain your business. Information on annual returns, uh, this is where you want to check how much you owe or how much you need to pay for your annual returns. Uh, you have to remember annual returns. Uh, customers are uh, supposed to pay their annual returns on an annual basis. And then if you want to do your change of director's amendment um, in your company or in your CC, this is where you're going to get all the services and then name changes and business rescue. And uh, we do also have your IP protection, protect your IP. Under IP, you're going to get uh, your trademarks, your patents, design, copyright, intellectual property, enforcement. And um, we do have a business and IP search. This is where if you need to search how many companies do I have or how many companies uh, did I register in the past years, uh, you can get that information uh, who are the members of the companies and all these things. Um, that's on our landing page. And um, again, if you also looking for notices, um, we've got notices at the bottom of the page where there's a red button where it says reset notices and view customer notices. This is where we put all our up the latest notices regarding any changes or any some, something new that is coming up or something that has been introduced. You can read all the notices or if you want to make sure that uh, whatever people are saying out there is correct or is the true reflection of the office, that's where you're going to get it. And um, and, and then uh, we when we go to the next page, this is where you're going to determine how to transact with CIPC. Uh, that's page number three. I cannot see it clearly on the screen, but it's fine. Um, when you are on this page, this is where you will be linking to what Tando was presenting um, when you do to, when you want to do online transacting, when you want to register your company, or uh, when you want to do name reservation, you want to uh, do company director's amendments, that your changes if you want to remove one or you want to add another one. And you've got your close corporation where you can do your CK2 amendments. CK2, this is where you can do member changes. Uh, and then you've got your annual returns, you've got your company and close corporation address changes, you've got your company and close corporation financial year end changes, certificate and disclosure, enterprise inquiry, and customer transaction. These are all e-services that are available on our website. So customers are being, uh, <coughs> a, please use these services to submit any OEH to use our e-services uh, to interact with the offices. We trying to push people not to submit anything uh, manually in the office currently, as we have all these e-services. And um, I think uh, you, yeah, I've, I've touched most of the things that needs to be discussed, because if we go through all the presentation, it's going to take us another hour. But uh, in, in a brief, uh, I think that is the most important but uh, Tanda has already touched some of the things that I'm not going to repeat, the customer registration, the company registration, and all those things. Amen. Hello. Can you hear us? Hi, Rotani. Yes, can you hear me? Hope you can hear. Can you hear me, Amen? Yeah, the the seem to be a delay somehow. I cannot the So, but yeah. if you if you yeah, there seems to be a delay. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Yes. Uh, but I'm losing you again. Okay. Can you hear me? Now? Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, I Amen. can hear you now. Okay. Yeah. No, um, I don't know if you get what I say. What I was saying. Um, I touched on some of the things on the presentation, and um, I'm not gonna repeat what Tando has said already. Uh, in terms of the e-services, uh, we where we, we do have e-services available.
when you click on online transacting, it takes you to e-services page where you can do your name reservation. And uh, you would remember for most of so, the services okay, need to have... Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. Amen. Hi, Rutani, continue. Uh, okay, yes, okay. And um, I was just saying you would remember as a uh, customer, you need to be registered as a customer for you to access all these services. Unless, um, if you're not registered, you're not going to access anything from us. And um, there is um, some financial charges on some of these services. Like when you do your name reservation, you will obviously have to pay 50 rand, or you must have 50 rand in your account to do such transaction. If you don't have uh, money in your account, you're not going to do any transaction. Your private company registration, you'll need to have, to have 125 in your customer code uh, again. And um, services like company director changes, um, this is for free. You can do it without any uh, money in your account, but uh, still, you must have an account with CIPC where you register as a customer. You close corporation amendments, your annual returns. Am I still there? Uh, sorry, my internet was uh, giving me problems there, but I just re-logged in again. My sincere apologies for that. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, yeah, no, I'm, I was still on e-services. Right, you need to use um, things like annual returns. Again, when you pay your annual returns, you need to have money in your account. You'll go to our system and check how much you owe. Tanda has already explained on how to check that. And uh, once you know how much you owe, that then you can submit your annual returns. This is done electronically, it's not done manually. Uh, you, like um, all the services that are here are done electronically. No manual application will be entertained. And um, I was saying I'm not gonna go through the whole presentation too long. It's gonna take another hour for us to finish this presentation. And um, if there are any follow-up questions or if there's anything that people would want to ask, they can ask me, they can ask Tambo, they can ask the commissioner. And um, yeah, I think that would cover most of the basic part of the website. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm hoping you can hear me. My internet went a bit wonky there and I had to yes, reconnect. Okay, okay, no, okay. thanks for that. Th thanks for that, uh, uh, Rutani. I just wanted to, to, to remind the attendees about the poll again, um, just to give the ears a little bit of a break from your presentation there. Um, how easy is it to submit your annual returns? We've got a scale of 1 to 5, where 1 is very easy and 5 is very difficult. So the poll is up on the right hand side of your screen. Do submit your votes and then before we say goodbye, we will look at that um, the results of the poll as well. So uh, we're looking forward to your feedback over and above the questions that you guys are going to be sending through. If you have a question related to the presentations that you just heard, uh, please do so and I will go through them on the right hand side of the screen as well. Um, I think, let me go with this one from Sbusi C, where it says, if your tickets uh, are still under status sold, um, you still have a chance to reopen the ticket. Just open the ticket, and at the bottom you will find uh, you'll be able to reject the solution. I think this, is, this sounds like a response to a question that was asked earlier. When I logged off, uh, I logged some of my questions. So let me make the call again. If you have a question that's relating to the um, presentations that you just heard, please do so on the right-hand side. We've got about 11 minutes left for the show, and I will go through them as well. Charmaine says on the annual return system, why do we have to enter the description of the business every year when this never changes? Uh, Charmaine, we do find that the description of the business changes, uh, but perhaps Tundal can take that into consideration that if there's no change, you don't need to update it. For now, what we want is confirmation that the business is still involved in the same area. <coughs> All right. 
And this one from Norman is also on the right hand side. Commissioner is one of those long ones, so I'm going to uh, read it out and hopefully you're not going to lose me halfway through the question. Uh, it says, please find attach the tracking numbers and names to a new company application launched over five working days ago. Unfortunately, the name reservation have expired because of the delays of CIPC. Norman doesn't uh, specify what kind of delays are those. Uh, please update me on the following outstanding procedures. I'll copy this and mail it to you because I think um, I don't want to jump the gun, but it needs a bit of a background checks on this one, Commissioner. Yeah? That's correct, Herman. I think it would be best to email those. Great. I will email that. And um, we also, unfortunately, due to time, Peter, um, I don't know if you have a website or technical related question. I did forward your question to the Commissioner. Um, I don't know if you have any particular questions regarding um, website and that. Um, no, I, I don't have uh, uh, questions flowing from the discussion that was held this morning, um, but I will appreciate the Commissioner's response to the questions that I've submitted um, at the earliest convenience. Herman, I must apologize. I didn't go into my emails yesterday, so I might have missed them. Um, no, perhaps but yeah, uh, Peter could just ask those questions and we can answer them now. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to put the question, Sermon? Yeah, the, the commissioner and the team are available. She just um, made it forward that you can maybe pose one or two. Uh, that you've asked, so you may have time to go through your email. So if you have the, your questions ready, maybe we can just fire one while the team is ready and live with us. Okay, um, uh, Commissioner, the, the one uh, problem that I have is that um, an application for a change of director was filed during the course of 2014, and we have exhausted the escalation process up to the point where we've uh, eventually submitted the uh, the query to your office. Um, I never received um, acknowledgement uh, from either the ombud uh, uh, or, or of your office and and as uh, at today's date the, the change of director um, has still not been effected. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know what the next step in the process would be um, to try and assist the, the customer company. Uh Peter, can I ask a follow-up question? Did Please. you send the email to the Ombud and me and to other people at the same time, or did you send it only to me? No, no, Commissioner, we've, we've, I, I, I followed to the letter um, the, the um, procedure that is set out on the CIP website. We first escalated the query, and then we forwarded the escalated query to the, uh, after the, 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 the elapse of the required time, we forwarded to the to the Ombud, uh, and then after the uh, is, you know, lapse of further time, uh, as prescribed, uh, we escalated to, to your office. Okay, Peter, well, uh, let me apologize. I'm sure there are other uh, instances of emails that I don't get to. What I will do is I will double check on my email, uh, find your name and, and, and deal with it. Remember, what I do, because I can't resolve these queries myself, is I forward them back to the relevant managers. So sometimes I do forward them, and if I forget to copy you in on it, you might not see it. Uh, but if a matter is not resolved and I haven't dealt with, dealt with it, then you just have to send me another email. I apologize if I don't get to all of them. No, Commissioner, I understand. Uh, I understand. I, I, um, what I learned this morning on, on the show is that, that there might be a complication involved because the remaining director is in fact a foreign person. Um, so I don't know, he's already in the system and he's already reflected as a director. The one that's being removed is a South African. Uh, but I don't know if the fact that the remaining director is a foreigner, whether that could have caused a problem and that I may have had to follow a different procedure than e-filing. Hi there, Peter, if, if I can, can answer that question. Um, some foreign directors, if, if the system allows you to go through and you get your documents or signatures, uh, then that means that will be processed. That's not the problem, um, that the director is foreign, but you should okay. still go through. 
Okay. And right. especially if you're not changing anything about the foreign director, because we only verify against the information that's being submitted yes. at that stage. So, so that should okay. not be the problem. But right. uh, we, there are quite a few transactions that um, didn't go through last year because we, the team inside can't see the image if the resolution isn't sufficiently good or if it was submitted in the wrong format. But that is something that we need to investigate. Very well, Commissioner. I, I, I have sent, uh, in, uh, in my email you will find uh, um, the screenshot of the company in question and if your office could just come back to me about that in, uh, in due course, I'll appreciate that. We'll certainly do that. Thank you, then. Awesome. Thank you very much, there, Peter. I'm just going to check my email quickly. I just got a confirmation that another question was sent to the Commissioner regarding the IP. Uh, so as soon as I have it, I will ask it so that either yourself or one of your team members can look at it. But right now we just closed the poll uh, and the question was how easy is it to submit your annual returns? Uh, one was for very easy and five was for very difficult. The response is as follows, 58% of the uh, uh, participants said uh, it's very easy, they went for one and the second in line was number two, 23%. And uh, number three was 9% for very hard or very difficult came through at number uh, well, 7%. Actually. Um, hope I didn't confuse you. So the response, it's very easy. That's, that's the general feedback from the um, participants that it's very easy to submit through your annual return on the, on the website. And then followed to that is number two. The very hard is at number three, if I look at the scale there, it came through at number uh, 7%. Now, th that question there, Commissioner, I just got it now, let me just open it quickly, my apologies, my system is a bit slow today. Um, it says, uh, here we go again, technology is really failing me today, I don't know why. <laughs> it says we are working on the um, listen, no, sorry, um, sorry not to be uh, unprofessional, I opened the question, now my system just jammed on me. So I'd rather forward it to you, my apologies for that, Commissioner. I usually have these ready and quick and fire, but this morning my system was just playing games with me. So I apologize for that, I will send through the questions to your team as well. So I think we've got two minutes before we say goodbye on my side. Again, just like to apologize for the uh, technology buffers that I had. You, Commissioner, and the team at CIPC, a moment to just wrap up for us quickly. Uh, okay, I'm not hearing anyone, so I don't know if the, the internet is still playing games on me. I'm not able to hear anyone at all. Nabila, are you there? Nabila, can you hear me? Hi. Oh, there we go. I can hear someone. Yeah, sure, Commissioner. All right. Can you hear me? Good. Um, I've noticed something on the screen. <clears throat> you can see these little green um, uh, dots that indicate that, that you're on. Um, from our side, I just want to thank you again for, for hosting another great show. I think, you know, this is, this is a learning experience for us. So we really appreciate the feedback, not just on the show, but on the work <clears throat> that we do and, and on the website. Um, we're certainly learning. I think maybe next week what we'll do is we'll uh, make sure that we upload our presentation well in advance. So we apologize for any delays that we might have caused this morning. Um, but you know, that's what happens when you do new things. As an organization, you have to learn how to get these things right and you improve. So that is our philosophy as an organization. We do uh, try and innovate and we accept that you know, we will improve things over time. So I just want to thank all my colleagues. I am in a room full of people who have been listening intently to the show and have been contributing. I just want to thank everybody. 
for this. And uh, I think we look forward to doing this again next week in the morning. Awesome. Uh, are we moving back to Tuesday next week? I think maybe we should um, move it to Tuesday next week, but again, at this time of the day, because then we can have a broader group of people from the organization involved. Awesome. Thank you very much, the uh, Commissioner. And also thanks to, to Peter for hanging on. Um, as we heard, the Commissioner will look at uh, for, uh, forwarding your emails to the relevant personnel. And uh, I have seen the work at play. I also get CC'd on some of the questions that we forward to uh, the Commissioner and the team as well. And also thanks to um, my news editor, this small business connect news editor who's been running the mothership back in yeah. <laughs> Mother City. Uh, Nabila, thank you very much for your time again. I appreciate Chairman, and good job to, to you and CRPC team. And I think we've made a good decision to, to broadcast in the morning. We have we seem to have more attendees. That's great. Awesome. Peter once again, thank you very much. Thank you, Guys, uh, um, some questions or any interactions? Uh, thanks, Peter. Uh, your interactions on the email, info at smallbusinessconnect.co.za. Also follow us on Facebook, SASB Connect, and also on Twitter as well. Share you with us your thoughts about the morning show in particular. But you heard next week, Tuesday at 10 o'clock, we're going to be live once again. And uh, we look forward to having more um, discussions. And hopefully next week my internet is not going to play games on me. So have yourself a beautiful week and um, what's left of your go out there. Make it work. Bye for now.